Alright, so today we are going to make something sweeter. We're going to try and make chocolate souffle. Most people think this is a very hard thing to do, but in fact it's not all too hard if you follow the right steps. So for tonight's souffle, we are going to need 50 grams of sugar, 2 tablespoons of butter, 2 medium sized eggs, 2 tablespoons of flour, 60 grams of black chocolate, and half a cup of milk. All these ingredients will serve two people for delicious souffles. Before we start, it's important that you preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Turn it on now and it will be ready by the time you're ready. Our first step is to melt the chocolate and the butter. Take the chocolate and break it into smaller pieces. Put it into a small sized pan, depending on the amount of ingredients you have, depending on the amount of people you have. Then take the butter and add it with the chocolate. Now just turn on the stove to maximum heat, but we need to remember to turn it down later. As soon as you see the chocolate starting to melt, turn down the heat to halfway. Otherwise, both your chocolate and the butter will start to burn. One of the key ingredients to a souffle is the eggs, or better said, the egg whites. We need to se separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. Do this by opening the egg, opening the peel into two halves, and let the e egg white drip down. Make sure absolutely no egg yolk gets into the egg white, otherwise your souffle will not work. When you're done, put the egg yolk into a bowl on the other side. Do the second egg. The next step is to beat your egg whites. Simply take the mixer and turn it off. Now the chocolate should have melted, it will probably have melted before you've done everything, so just turn it down or even turn the stove off and let it sit there till you're ready. What we're going to do is we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. First we'll add the milk, keep mixing at the same time, add the, cho add the eggs, Add the flour, and this is important that you mix very fast so that there's no clumps that are made. Add the flour slowly. Add the sugar. Try and mix it all together. And lastly, we need to add the egg whites that we've beaten before. And this will make the souffle rise. Mix the egg whites in. Alright, so to prepare the souffle forms, we're going to need some more sugar and a bit of butter. Here's the souffle form that I'm going to use. First, get a paper towel, fold it up, add some butter into the paper towel, and then rub all of the area inside the bowl with butter. This will make it much easier for the souffle to rise. Make sure you cover absolutely everything. The next step, this is a very important step, is to take some sugar and simply sprinkle it on the inside of the souffle form. If you're making a salty souffle, you can use breadcrumbs for example, Before you do this next step, make sure that the oven is ready. To prepare this next step, you simply have the souffle mixture and your souffle form. Take the souffle mixture and pour it into the form. Fill to about three quarters of the total volume that you can put in. And add a little bit more. The more you put in, the more it will rise above the edge. 
then you can take the excess chocolate off the side and it will look like this. Alright, then we're going to put them in the oven, open the oven, put the souffles in on a medium height, make sure you don't burn yourself. Right, so to serve the souffle, we're going to just place it into the one end of this plate. I have some powdered sugar here, which we're going to sprinkle on. Two leaves of peppermint, one which we're going to put on the side. The other one is going to go on top of the souffle. Sprinkle this one with sugar. And the souffle is complete.